Hello and welcome to our devotion today. We're continuing uh, with our new book, Your Journey to a Prayerful Life, uh, which I encourage you if you want to get your own copy of this. Um, I would like it noted that my accessories uh, were given to me by my daughter this morning who said, when I miss her today, I can just touch this. So what do you do to help you when you miss somebody? So today we're looking at the question of why do we pray? And once again, she gives us um, several reasons uh, why prayer is important, why prayer is helpful. Um, the first one is that God invites us and encourages us to pray and responds to our prayers, uh, which goes along with our uh, scripture of the week from Jeremiah, which says, Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. Um, but prayer also declares and acknowledges our dependence on God. She talks about how prayer brings our will in line with the purposes of God that prayer unleashes the storehouse of blessings that God desires to give to those who ask in prayer. But she focuses on that prayer brings glory and honor to God. So often we think about what we want God to do for us in prayer or what we need from God in prayer. And those are both important, and I'm sure we'll talk about that uh, later, and that's uh, one of the purposes uh, of our prayer. But the idea that it is just one of the ways that we show God that we love God. Um, she talks about in this uh, particular devotion about, you know, how much it means when her daughter just calls her out of the blue to say hi, or uh, a friend calls really unexpectedly. It's just uh, those small touches can often mean so much. So uh, God is rarely surprised when we pray when we need something. When, um, as I said yesterday, I was praying for someone um, out of a need. and uh, But I think when it's just to have the conversation and just to proclaim praise and love and glory to God, to tell God how amazing God is, uh, how often do we just stop in prayer to do that, um, to offer God the glory. So think of a time you prayed just to tell of your love for God. What were the circumstances and how did you feel about the time you spent in prayer? You know, there are lots of reasons to pray. Um, you may have different ones today than that, but what would that prayer sound like? Are you in a place where you can offer that prayer today? I know that there are some days in the midst of everything that we're facing right now that that might seem really hard to see God in the midst of it, but um, it reminds us that uh, gratitude can always change our perspective on things. And our gratitude for God's love and abundance for us, for God's steadfast faithfulness to us through all of this. Um, and what does it mean to just check in with God and say, I miss you. I wish to see your face. Um, I'm ready to listen to hear some uh, of the unknowable things that you wish to tell me about. Um, how would that change or shift your prayer today or your view of why you pray? So um, I don't think we can limit it, but I think it's interesting to consider different parts of prayer. Um, when can we be overwhelmed with gratitude for God? And has that ever happened for you before? Um, and how have you been able to do that right now at this moment in your life where you're at? Um, have you known times, like I said before, when that's been really hard for you? Um, are you in that place now or have you gone past that place and can see God's handiwork in the midst of uh, the difficult times and can you give thanks for that now? So we talked about what prayer is just, uh, earlier in the week. We're talking about why we pray this week and your action for the day is take a few moments to reflect on or write about other good reasons to pray. Feel free to leave some in the comments uh, below. Uh, on our Facebook page. I'd love to hear what some of those are or um, prayers that are particularly useful to you. So uh, we'll end today as always with a prayer and it will be um, focusing on how lovely God truly is. So let's go to God in prayer. Gracious and ever loving God, you are amazing. You have always been present for us, and for that we give thanks. You have given us strength when we have needed it the most. You have pieced us back together when we thought that it was impossible. You have sent us 
prophets and teachers over hundreds of years to show us the way you want us to go, not just the way you want us to go, but the way of life, the way of abundance, the way away from sin and pain and suffering. And for that, we're so grateful. We give thanks for your son, Jesus, who showed us an entirely new way to follow your will, to follow your path, to be led by a good shepherd. Despite all the ways that we fail you or we let you down. You love us anyways. You lift us up anyways. You show us grace and gentleness anyways. And we're so thankful. We're so grateful that we can pray to you, that you are always listening. And that as I said yesterday, if we are quiet, you are also still speaking to us and to the world of love and of mercy and of justice. We ask all these things in the beautiful name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. As always, my friends, be well, be safe. Make sure you pray. <laughs>